We did it. 50,000 of you. 50,000. That's a lot. I could compare populations with literal countries, but I won't. But if you go back three years down in my videos, don't do that actually, but just imagine it. I used to do the most cringiest videos from the poorest quality ever just to share my passion. And today we have arrived at the moment where I have a significant following on YouTube, like actually a mind blowing following for me. So thank you so much for all the support. And today as a reward, I will show and review my first ever chess game on chess.com. I was a thousand rated at the time. <laughs> And we play somebody who's 1271, so that's like over 200 points above me at the time. This is, mind you, 2012. Like, this is over 10 years ago, in which I still had like five years of playing under my belt, but I had no online chess experience and very little blitz playing experience because I was a classical tournament player. I only played in person and I only played classical rated tournaments. I'm very old school in that manner, I just realized. So yeah, let's go on. Oh, actually, uh, next video for another 50,000 sub thank you, we are seeing uh, my game against Andrea Bot Botes. So I hope you enjoy that too. That's coming in a couple days as well. So in this game, I have the white pieces. I have a very bad accuracy of 67.5. So that's why this is gonna be slightly embarrassing and kind of fun. So we go e4, best by test. E5, knight f3, knight c6, and bishop c4. The Italian, the best. I still play this to this day, by the way. Knight f6 and knight g5. We're going for a fried liver. <laughs> Zachary in 2012 was 11 years old, had just turned 11 years old back in July. So this was September, so we are doing good here. D5 response to my fried liver. E takes D, and now knight d4. Knight d4. It says book here. It's really just, um, it's, it's book, it, it's playable. It's playable, it's bad for black. It's really just a trap. Black wants you to play d6 to attack uh, this f7 square twice. And once black takes, actually I, I lost a game in the Canadian championship when I was nine for the gold medal, I think, uh, in this game from this trap. So if you wanna see that, I'll dig back in my archives and, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like this video and we'll see, okay? Uh, okay, so here we would have knight takes f7, the fork here, queen c6, and then you're like, oh my god, nice, a rook. But this is a trap because of queen takes g2, rook f1, and then there's, I think, bishop g4, and this queen is quite trapped. Uh, yeah, bishop e2, ay, 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 right? And I did get caught in this, actually. So here, don't do the trap d6, I played c3, and b5, this is actually theory, taking here and then b takes c4, and then I took here on e5. This is actually still theory. Uh, I'm quite impressed with myself that 11 year old Zach had eight moves of theory under his belt. Very proud, very proud. Okay, so queen takes d5, and here I take on f6. This is okay, I, it's a trade of pieces, right? The queen is now hitting this knight and takes on g2. <laughs> this is a big mistake. This is the first time I'm seeing this game. It's a live review, by the way. So they don't take the knight. That uh, I guess I guess it's a discovery attack on, on the knight. It's like a rare type of discovery. You can miss it. So queen takes g2. Okay. And so now I have to kind of defend against this fork. But uh, yeah, the engine says I have queen e2 check here. If king here, I have this nice little fork on f7. So okay, uh, queen e2, bishop here and then queen e4 to defend this rook. Ingenious, wow. This knight defends this queen, and if queen takes here, well then we would take this rook handy dandy. Um, crazy combination, <laughs> what a defense. I wasn't, that, uh, I wasn't that calculative when I was 11, so mind me. Uh, rook f1, queen takes g5, they find what they missed the previous move, and now we have f takes g7. Get what you can while that pawn is still there, so bishop takes. And now knight c3. It's never late for development. Queen e5 check, queen e2. We trade it off. And now we get into this very wild endgame. I'm not going to lie. Uh, black has two doubled isolated pawns. Basically, black has <laughs> only isolated pawns. <laughs> they have five pawns. They're all isolated. And I'm not better either. I have four pawn islands. <laughs> Three isolated pawns. 
And uh, at least black has a bishop here. That's, that's something good that I don't have. Zero development on my front, by the way. Zero development. I have this knight that's moved twice. And I have this rook that's on f1, passive as can be. So, okay, bishop g4. <laughs> rook b1. <laughs> I think I'm trying actually to do b3 here because this bishop... Uh, was pinning the pawn. This is kind of funny still because black can just do bishop f5 and <laughs> bring my rook directly back to, to a1. Bishop f3 for some reason. Technique. It's all about the technique. b3 to try to do something at this point. And uh, yeah, the eval bar is having fun, uh, having a stroke and then rehabilitated and then having a stroke again. Bishop a a3. You know what? I'm getting out of a bad situation. It's like in the mafia, you have to do what you got to do to survive. And now king d7, b4. <laughs> b4 is a mad thing. B4 is a mad thing. I basically just said, you know, welcome, welcome to the world, bishop. First time you're out here. It's 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 nice. It's nice. You have a beautiful view of this diagonal. But no, next move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Enclosed. You're imprisoned for life. Twenty five years. Uh, and so now rook d8, and actually the engine gives minus 14, that bad? For this move, this move set, made the engine say that's minus 10 now, because minus 10, like this is like a big, like world changing event. Like I'm down a queen now because of a pawn move on b4. And the reason is rook e8, and I really can't defend this. Not only that, I think I lose more material than just this knight. If I were to just escape, bishop takes fork, uh, with check, right? And wins uh, the rook on f1. So d4, rook takes. Oof, this is bad. King d1. And here my opponent misses maiden 2. Because here you. Oh no. They missed maiden 1! <laughs> this game is gold. Thank you for 50,000 subs, you guys. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Here, black missed uh, maiden one. See if you can find. I did uh, give a clue there on the board. But yeah, black missed uh, bishop h6, which is uh, a double bishop uh, checkmate. It's actually very pretty checkmate, uh, but they missed it. They played rook takes a3. Uh, very big miss, I shall say. Giving me a chance. You know, at this level, um, if you miss maiden one, there's some chances. I still have two rooks on the board. Two bishops down, though. <clears throat> b5, rook a2, and now b6. Again, missing bishop h6 with um, some positive things to say the least. In fact, they're giving maiden 7 because now rook e3 because my rook is actually alive. Rook takes f2 and now this is being threatened is absolutely over. I think I can defend this but then they'll take and just reinitiate this threat. It's, I don't I don't even want to go over it, okay? I played b6. You know how desperate I am if I'm playing b6 here? Desperation 100. So, they actually play it. Oh no, they play it. Oh, they played this. Oh, and they didn't take my rook out of principle for being nice. They didn't take my pook, rook, didn't take my pawn. They took back on b6. <laughs> first things first, you guys. Priorities need to be in order. So rook, b4, rook b5, bishop takes with check. This is just well, more. I exchanged my last living piece on the board. Imagine I were to win this, though. That would be funny. But yeah, with one pawn left, I just... <laughs> this pawn is going up the board like in Monopoly, Rev. My guy is just going towards boardwalk and then just landing on the property. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't pay the fee. He basically, you buy boardwalk at this point and you pass go $200 checkmate. So I hope you enjoyed this game. Thank you so much overall for 50,000 subs. I really appreciate and I try to show my love for you guys as much as pop possible responding to, I try to respond to every comment but uh, you guys, um, you keep this a positive channel. You keep this a glowing community. And that's especially what I'm grateful for. Because without you, there's no me. And without your positivity, this community does not shine as bright as it does. So thank you for shining your brightness. Or brightening, brightening your shyness. Anyways, um, I'm tired. <laughs> second video out of three that I'm recording tonight. So, you know, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Love you. Oh, actually, uh, next video for another 50,000 sub thank you. We are seeing uh, my game against Andrea Botes. So I hope you enjoy that too. That's coming in a couple days as well.
<laughs> Thank you for 50,000 subs. Let's make it 100. <laughs>